Every recipe we cook at Sorted is loved, but this one will make you go wobbly at the knees. After that somewhat uncomfortable intro, let's do this. I promise you, this is so naughty but nice. Basically, lots of amazing ingredients we're gonna make into kind of a cake batter, a few more sweet treat kind of ingredients we make mm -hmm. into a syrup, and they do a magical thing in the oven. You say they self-source? It is a hot chocolate fudge pudding with self-sourcing I don't know what that means. Oh, let me show you. It starts off with melted butter, so into our mixer, and basically gonna whip up a very, very quick cake batter. So melted butter goes in Whoa. with caster sugar and two eggs, and then you wanna whip a fair amount of air into that mixture, along with a little dribble of vanilla extract. And while that's whipping up, we can chop up some chocolate, so good quality, 75% cocoa, dark chocolate. We want kind of chocolate chips, and as if a chocolate pudding wasn't good enough, this is going to be a chocolate and hazelnut pudding. So think Frere Rocher. Oh. We've got our roasted hazelnuts as well. Is this my new pudding to impress? Because it used to be white chocolate lava cake. Which is also awesome and kind of self-sourcing because the sauce comes from the middle. But we said to you guys, what hot pudding do you want? And you went with a hot chocolate fudge pudding. And somebody said self-sourcing. Good choice. So I had a look and found this incredible method online and we've made our variation of it. And then everything else goes into our mixer. So flour and cocoa powder. And then for a few wet ingredients, we've got a shot of milk mm. and a shot of hazelnut liqueur. And then grab your nuts and throw those in as well. And the chocolate. So it's not just an incredible pudding, but a very simple one as well, because that's it, job done. Really? All we need to do now, or all you need to do, is transfer all of that into a relatively deep baking dish. Okay, so we're going for this one. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna make one extra ingredient which goes on top, and that's the sauce, because it is self-sourcing, and this is how it works. Into a pan, we throw a cup of water, brown sugar, cocoa, and another shot of our hazelnut liqueur. Bring it up to a boil, boil it for about a minute, and then comes the weird bit, and you're gonna to have to trust me. Weird bit, why do you say weird bit? Trust me when it gets weird. This will come as no surprise to you, Ben, but I'm confused. Yeah, well, I was as well when I started this recipe, but stick with it, and it's incredible. We've had our syrup, that's a lovely light chocolate sponge with hazelnuts. <gasps> that you can smell. smell the hazelnut liqueur. Oh. However, all of this, it looks like it's gonna be wrong. That's wrong. But pour it all like, over your sponge. Wrong. You think it's gone wrong? Yeah, it's gone wrong. Um, and you're left with kind of a, a bucket of puddly chocolateness with Definitely sponge wrong. underneath. But put that into an oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 35 minutes. Sure. At which point, That's take it out it. and leave it for 10 minutes. Something magical happens in the oven. They kind of swap places, and you've got this amazing sponge with this fudgy hot chocolate self sourcing sauce at the bottom. Oh, it's delightful. Still gold. Now the smell in here is mm. incredible. Mm. Our pudding is baked. We've got to leave it now for about 10 minutes just so oh. that kind of self-sourcing pudding just kind of dribbles down to the bottom. In the meantime, we're going to whip up a vanilla clotted cream. So I'm going to scrape out the seeds of a vanilla pod. And Baz, if you can put half of our clotted cream into a bowl. We're not going to sweeten this clotted cream, but we are going to flavour it with the seeds of half a vanilla pod. Now I really like clotted cream but I hate it when I think it's ice cream. It's just very, once you accept the clotted cream, it's lovely. You've got so much flavour going on with our chocolate and our hazelnuts, and actually no. a little bit of this, you don't need that sweetened, and therefore it'll be absolutely delicious. Right, I'm gonna dig into this pudding. This is the moment. That's right. Look at that. It really has an oozy bottom. So it's like a <laughs> chocolate fondant, instead of being gooey in the middle, it's gooey right at the bottom. There we go, you're not gonna need a huge portion of this, but it is incredible. It's a chocolate and hazelnut hot fudge self-sourcing pudding. That's a mouthful. Sorted. It's like cake, brownie, custards, ooze, cream, chocolate, alcohol, nuts. You name it, that is, that's got it. I'm sorry, but I know the alcohol is optional. You can leave that out, but you have to give this one a go. And if you know anybody else who would go wobbly at the knees with this one too, you need to share this recipe with them because this is one that needs sharing. How can something so wrong taste so right?